Hey guys, so I'm finally getting around to using the new Fit Glow Sunny Days palette. I haven't tried this yet. I've just been so like behind with everything that I've been doing, but I'm finally sitting down and I'm gonna be doing pretty much an entire Fit Glow look again. I just love Fit Glow makeup. The, the makeup is so good. The only thing that she doesn't have that I hope that she's working on is brow something. I mean, I could imagine that's gotta be in the works, right? It's like the only thing from her line that's missing at this point. But yeah, we're going to be using the Sunny Days Trio. Um, I've got a couple of other things in here that I'm going to try with you guys, um, at least on camera for the first time. I'm also going to be talking about the Ficlo Vita Active Foundation, which I haven't talked about before. And I'll get into why I haven't talked about that. I had to move my camera a little. Um, as I use that, because there are specific days when I can and can't use that, and right now my skin is doing well enough that I can use it. But I also wanted to talk about my skincare a little bit, um, because I'm like truly obsessed with, you know, like my skin and my skincare right now. It looks really good. I mean, it's always a little bit discolored, but in for the most part, it's really healthy. It's really hydrated. It's really just like healthy. It's just really healthy. A couple of the things that I've been using lately um, and have I've been loving and have con been contributing to my really nice skin. The Naturalogic, the new Elemental Advanced Hydration Red Wine Essence. This stuff is phenomenal. Um, you get my cat over there too. <laughs> uh, uh, but yes, I absolutely love this stuff. It's got multiple levels of hyaluronic acid in it. Um, it's a concentrated toning gel um, that's supposed to deliver advanced hydration, potent antioxidants, brightens, refines, pores, um, reduces inflammation, restores moisture levels, balances skin's pH. I think it does all that. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now. I use it as my first step after I cleanse. So today I used a micellar water that I'm testing um, for a box next month. <laughs> if you if this is going up before or after that, I'm not really sure at this point. Um, and then I used a exfoliator because I, I didn't shower or wash my face today. So I, I noticed I needed some exfoliation. My skin was kind of built up. Um, and then after I exfoliated, I used this and I used this underneath all my serums, all my other oils, moisturizers, whatever. Absolutely love this. It's an amazing first step. That's sort of on par with me for the Nap in the Meadow um, from Earthwise Beauty. I think they're similar products, except I think the Elemental is much more hydrating, um, has a lot of skin benefits that are different than the Nap in the Meadow. I think the Nap in the Meadow is, it, it, I mean, it's anti-inflammatory and it's, it helps with redness and stuff too. I did actually use both today. I like to use both. I like to layer hydration. Um, but I think if you like the Nap in the Meadow, you're really going to like that as well. So if that's a product that you like, definitely look into the Naturalogic Elemental. It's it's amazing. Um, so two Fit Glow specific skincare products that I've been using um, lately and have been loving are the Fit Glow Vita Active Serum. I got this in a detox box a couple of months back, I think, and I use it very sparingly because one, it works quickly. I've only used this three times and I've seen such an, a dramatic difference in my skin in the three times that I've used it in the last week. This stuff is amazing. It really is worth the $150 price tag. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and uh, buy a full size of it because I'm almost out of this one and I can't be without it. This does amazing things to my skin. It works incredibly quickly. It works, it, it just works so well to, you know, help heal acne, help reduce, you know, dark spots. This stuff is just amazing. And then at nights, I've been using the, the, the Fit Glow Beauty. Um, it's the Cloud Ceramide Balm. Oh, this stuff is so good too. Give me ceramides, give me peptides, give me vitamin C, give me hydration. My skin just, my skin loves what's going on um, right now. Um, so yes, that's the skincare stuff that I've been loving. I also have been loving the Five Yina Summer Oil, but I'm gonna be talking about that in my Box Walla Box, which I think you will see, yeah, you'll have seen that before this video. So if you haven't watched that, go check that out where I talk all about the Five Yina Summer products um, for Box Walla. And then we're just gonna get into doing some makeup today. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fit Glow Redness Rescue Cream which mine's a little bit watery and I'm not sure why. The last one I had, this is my second bottle. The last one I had was much more like a cream and this one is watery for some reason. I mean, it still works fine, um, but I don't know. It must've been a weird batch, but it's just watery. Uh, of course, to diminish redness, it has to make my skin a little bit red first. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love that underneath <clears throat> pretty much all my foundations. This stuff is also great because it really does help reduce, 
you know, redness, um, I don't know about sensitivity, but definitely redness. It helps calm and um, decrease redness. So next we're gonna use the Vita Active Foundation. So I've had this for a while, I've tried it I tried it when she first launched it. She sent me one, um, but the color was all wrong and I never quite got on with it. Um, I think one, because I wasn't playing around with liquids yet and I just, I didn't know how to work with it. I didn't know skincare underneath. It sort of always looked dry on my skin. So I never talked about it when I first tried it, when she first launched it years ago now, before Oliver was born, I wanna say. <laughs> um, I can't, because I can't remember how long she's had it. And then she sent me another bottle when we started working together again um, after they were featured in Beauty Heroes for the first time um, last February, I think it was. And I haven't talked about this because I haven't played around with it a lot because I've had some issues with it. And I can only really use this when my skin is actually doing well. If my skin is not doing super well, it's it says it's foundation, but it has very, very sheer coverage, at least for me, and that I've found. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this flat top um, kabuki from, from Fit Glow. I'm gonna take two pumps. My color is VF2, which I think is light neutral. I can't remember. So I can't use this any other time except when my skin is already looking pretty decent because I think you're gonna see the coverage isn't... Um, it's not foundation-like coverage, at least in my opinion. I mean, I used two pumps. I used one pump yesterday, so I might be eating my words in a minute. But when I used it yesterday, it had very sheer coverage. And that's what I've sort of found. So like when I'm having really, really bad skin days, this is not the foundation that I pull out. If I'm gonna wear makeup on a day that I'm having a really, really bad skin day where I'm extremely broken out, I'm, um, you know, really red, my skin just looks awful. This is, I don't pull this out. I pull out a powder foundation. Cause I find powder foundations have like major, major coverage, at least in the green beauty world. In the green beauty, there's not much that's super full coverage that, um, yeah, there's not much that's super full coverage. So as you can see, that didn't really do much coverage wise. I mean, it looks great on the skin. It's got the same great Vita Active um, ingredients in it that it's, it's like a skin, it's another skincare ingredient. So you've got the Vita Active Serum, now you've got the Vita Active Foundation, which has the great skincare ingredients in it. There's, vi there's a blend of vitamin C, um, botanical hyaluronic acid, seaweed brighteners, and biocarotene. Um, increases collagen production, dramatically boosts skin uh, ability to diminish spots. Freckles, hyperpigmentation, sun damage, prove, improve elasticity, um, daily use, leaves skin clear, smooth, and radiant. So. Um, I would definitely, if you want to try the Vita Active Foundation, I mean, because it's good if you have good skin. And I think that's something that's, that Fit Glow has expressed before is that your, your makeup's not going to look good unless, you know, you have good skin underneath. And that's definitely true. This is, they don't, the foundation wasn't created to like cover. It wasn't created to, to leave like a full coverage foundation to like leave a layer on your face. It's, in, it's meant to enhance and even improve your skin more. So, I mean, in a way I like that. I like that it, it uses skincare ingredients and it's not so much a cover for your face, but it's, you know, it's just to enhance your face. You know, because it does like even out my skin tone. That was two pumps, like I said, um, but it's not super full coverage. So my skin still looks really good. But if you are someone who's got way like problematic skin, you're not gonna like this because it doesn't have a lot of coverage. So focusing on your skincare is something that Ficlo really emphasize, emphasizes on. And I do find that when I use the Ficlo products, my skin looks really good. So that's why I've been able to pull this foundation out right now is because my skin actually looks really, really good from using a combination of Ficlo products. So, and if you need more coverage, if you plan to use this foundation and say you want more coverage, but you really want to use this foundation for the skincare benefits and all that, she does have the Conceal Plus concealers, which will give you a lot more coverage. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this under underneath my eyes, um, C2 underneath my eyes just to brighten a little. And then, you know, maybe I'll do a little brightening down the center of the face as well. Um, and then I'm gonna use C3, which is more of my skin tone match for just like around my mouth, around my nose, um, just anywhere that I want a little bit of extra like color coverage. So I think that's it. I might need an, I'm gonna need a new I'm gonna be spending a couple hundred dollars at Fit Glow soon because um, I need a new concealer. I need a new um, 
I need a Vita Active Serum. I love her concealer though. If you haven't watched my demo of the Conceal Plus, go watch that because that stuff is incredible. I will sometimes use that um, as like a full face of foundation, but I haven't lately just because my skin has been so good. I haven't needed like, you know, super duper coverage. If my skin is already looking really good, that foundation does work really well because it's, I think foundation, like using the, the term foundation is kind of, I don't know, I wanna say almost a little bit misleading because again, it's not like full coverage. It's not what people think of when they think of foundation, at least I don't think so. But if you've already got good skin underneath, I mean, it will enhance. They should call it like Vita Active Skin Enhancement something. I don't know. Either way, I like this. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use any powder or anything because I kind of like the glowy, dewy effect, and that's sort of what we're going for with the Sunny Days palette. I'm just going to do a little bit of brows really quick. Um, I'm using the Pacifica Golden Brown Stunning Brows. It's their one color. I think it'd be cool if Fit Glow came out with some sort of like brow brush product, like Brow Plus where it like also helps, you know, grow back brow hairs or whatever. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Are they working on that? I don't know. I was just saying. Okay, so mostly what I'm gonna do is just from the Sunny Days palette. So this comes with three different shades. It comes with Sunstone, which is a sun-kissed bronzer, um, Rosé, which is a illuminating rose glow, and then Shapely, which is a shaping shaping bronze. I'll do swatches of all three really quick. So this is the sh uh, Sunstone. The top one is Sunstone. The next one is Shapely and then Rosé is at the bottom. Very pretty colors. So I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, what do I want to do? Well, I know I want to do Rosé on the cheeks. Do I want to use all three? You know what, maybe we will. We'll do a little bit of all three. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Shapely, the Shaping Bronze, and I'm gonna do it um, like underneath my cheekbone area. Just to sort of like define the cheekbone. I'm not going to use that one all over the face because I'm going to use the uh, sunstone color pretty much everywhere else that I would bronze. I am going to do this a little bit down my nose though. Um, I didn't bring a smaller brush in here for that so I'm just going to use a little bit of this on my eyeshadow brush because I wasn't sure if I was going to do eyeshadow or not so I brought um, an eyeshadow brush in here. Okay so then I'm going to take like a little bit of a different fluffy brush and I'm gonna do the the uh, sunstone where I would normally bronze. These are all pretty pigmented, so use a light hand. <laughs> but they're good if you want um, like a nice glowy sun-kissed look. Cause look at that, look at how sort of like, like sun goddessy I look. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I did barely needed anything. There is a little bit of kickback in the pan from the bronze, the shape, the sunstone, the sun-kissed bronze. Um, so yeah, just make sure you tap off the brush before you go at it on your face because it's um, easy to overdo. So then I'm just going to take the Rosé Illuminating. Get that one. There's some kickback on that one too. I don't know if you can see. Some kickback a little bit, but we're going to do that one on the cheeks. And again, like even a very little bit, you can see how pigmented that is. Any, that's even like tapping off the brush. 
But this palette is great if you want just like a quick, easy, super glowy, like, this would be perfect for like summer. Well, I mean, we're going into summer, but it's like the perfect palette for summer if you like that sort of like glowy, dewy, like lit from within, almost, like look. It's really pretty. Took like less than five minutes. My skin is like, I look like I've seen a lot of sun. Like I'm vacationing on a tropical beach somewhere. So yeah, anyway, big fan of this palette. Especially if you want like one palette to do like your entire face. This would be great to take on vacation if you're going to the beach somewhere or you're going somewhere where it's a tropical destination. I mean, even the Fit Glow like makeup in general is just good for that because it's quick, it's easy, it makes your skin look beautiful. So yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Huge, huge fan of that. Um, okay, so I don't even know if I need any more like illuminating, but let's just go ahead and do a little bit of the Lumi Firm the original one, the champagne color, and I'm just gonna put it on like this high portion of my cheekbone. I'm not gonna do like a ton of that because I'm already pretty like glowy as it is, but I just wanna add a little bit, just add a little bit of extra glow. Because that's sort of what we're going for today is just like good skin, glowy, bronzy just pretty so then quickly we'll just do mascara do i want to do anything with my eyes no i kind of like i'm just gonna leave them like that i thought i might you know do some of the palette in the eyes too but i don't think today that i want to do that i just want to keep it like light and um well, this has a mirror, so why am I trying to use my mirror that's far away? So I'm just using the Fit Glow Good Lash Mascara. If you want like a really dramatic uh, lash, the Fit Glow is good for that. It's another one of those products that I have sort of like a love-hate relationship because it's really good. It's a good mascara, especially if you're someone who likes a lot of lash which I'm not that person all the time, which is why I have the, like the love-hate relationship with it. It's a fabulous mascara, it works really well, um, but it's more lashes than I want like, you know, on a daily basis. So that's that. And then the last thing, so she did release two new lip serums recently, Kind and Rosé. I have swatched these before. Rosé is like sort of like a shimmering sand color and then kind is like a peachy color. This one is my favorite. This is Beach Glow, um, which I think is a good companion to Rosé because these are sort of like similar where this one is sort of more sandy and this one is like more bronzy. So I am gonna go with Rosé for this look, but Beach Glow is like my absolute favorite. Um, it's the one that I would buy over and over again because it's the one that I wear all the time. So let's just go with Rosé. I just love the Fit Glow serums so much. So, so, so much. If you haven't tried them yet, but you're balking at the price, because trust me, I did first too. I thought $42 is like incredibly overpriced. Like who the heck is gonna pay $42 for a lip gloss? But these things are like lip changing. They're life changing. These are like the best things I've ever put on my lip ever. Um, it sucks that they do have beeswax because I wish they were a fully vegan product, but they are absolutely fantastic. I just, my lips feel so good when I wear them. They're so conditioned, they're so healthy. They're not sticky, they last a really long time. They just look, they just look so good. So anyway, this is what we have come up with today with some Fit Glow makeup um, and Fit Glow skincare basically because I've been using so much Fit Glow skincare lately. My skin just loves the Fit Glow stuff. If you have yet to try any of the Fit Glow skincare, it's expensive, but it is, it's one of the best skincare lines that I've used. And I've only, I mean, even just using a couple of products like the Fit Glow Vita Active Serum and the Redness Rescue Cream, just even those two products make such a tremendous difference in my skin. But the new Ceramide Balm at night is awesome. 
What else am I using from them right now? I don't think anything actually. I need to break out my cleansers that I bought from them and the, um, the toning mist so I can do like a full Fit Glow um, review because I've been meaning to do one for a long time, but I just, I love the Fit Glow it, it's just, the Fit Glow skincare is incredible and the makeup is so good too. I love this new Sunny Days palette because it's great, it's quick and it's easy and it makes you look just glowy and beautiful. So if you haven't checked out any of the new Fit Glow makeup yet, the new Lumi Pop duo or the Lumi Firm duo, which has the new Lumi Pop and the Lumi Firm original in it, which I used um, on my cheekbones here. If you haven't checked out the Sunny Days palette and you think that this is something that you might like, um, cause it's got the sort of like pops of, you know, bronze glowy color, so pretty. Or the new Lip Serum Duo. And if you haven't checked out the Beach Glow yet, definitely do. This is my, by far and away, my favorite. I think Rosé is a good second favorite, like I said, cause I think they're good companion colors. Like you, if you want, um, if you want one that's a little bit lighter, a little more sandy, go with rosé, and if you want one that's a little bit deeper, a little more bronzy, go with Beach Glow. Ugh, these are so... Let's just look at them for a few seconds. Come on, focus camera, there we go. Oh, so pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, that's everything that I've got for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I know that this was released quite a few weeks now at this point, but I'm so behind in everything. It's just, it's just my life. I'm behind in everything all the time. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you liked the little look that I created. I hope that you found my foundation review helpful because I have been meaning to talk about that. Um, and yeah, if you haven't checked out Fit Glow, definitely do. I do have a coupon code to shop on fitglow.com if you want to shop there. Of course, if you're a Beauty Hero subscriber, um, you do get 15% off everything in the Beauty Hero store, which carries the majority of Fit Glow, if not everything. Um, the Green Jungle Beauty Shop also carries Fit Glow, and I do have a coupon code for that as well. I don't think I have anywhere else that has a, a coupon code though, but they do sell them on Integrity Botanicals, Detox Market, not sure if Credo has them. I want to say they probably do. Safe and Chic, I know, has Fit Glow. So lots of Fit Glow in lots of places. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one.